Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uday Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to uh, calculate the cable tray size. Okay. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically what is cable tray? In the electrical wiring of the building or industry, a cable tray system is used to support the insulated electrical cables used for power distribution of the cable, control system cable and communication cable. Okay, so basically cable tray is used to support the cables, power cables, control cables, communication cables. Okay, so usually cables are uh, laid through this cable tray okay to distribute the powers that cable should be insulated type okay now come to its type so there are two types of the cable tray okay so ladder type and perforated type so this is the ladder types so it looks like a ladder and this is perforated type okay we have a, a small holes multiple holes over here okay so this is used to long span where we have a and this is used where we have a long uh, short span okay where we need to dissipate the more heat from the cable if we have a cable where we have a more heat so at that condition we also use this type of ladder type of cable to dissipate the heat if you have a low dissipate the heat then we use for perforated type okay so these are the cable trays okay now come to the its size so here the standard size of the cable tray which is available in the market so these are the sides okay so from 50 mm okay 75 mm 100 150 200 250 300 400 600 75 800 and 900 so these are the cable size these are the cable tray size okay so this is the cable tray size which are available in the market so this is the uh, basically width of the cable tray so suppose this is the cable tray okay so this is the width of the cable okay so these are the width of suppose this is char 400 okay and uh, we have also depth of the cable tray okay so these are the depth of the cable cable 20 50 100 150 200 so this is the depth of the cable tray okay or we can say height of the cable tray okay and this is the length of the cable tray 2.5 meter it is available in the markets so these are the a standard size of the cable tray which is available in the market okay now come to the calculation part so we are going to calculate the cable tray size for this cable okay this cable system so here we have a 3 run 3.5 core 300 square mm cable okay and another one is 20 120 square mm cable of 2 run and 3.5 core okay and 1 run 3.5 core of 70 square mm so total how many cables we have so 3 2 1 so total we have a 6 cables okay so in this fashion basically cable will be placed first second third four five six and so overall six six cable will be laid okay six cable in this way a one two three four five six okay and the uh, thing remember that we have to keep the uh, space between two cables okay during the laying of cable on the cable tray okay so now finally come to calculation so to calculate the cable tray size we must have to know about the cable diameter so to find the cable diameter to know about the cable diameter we have to check the cable catalog okay with its dimension and weight okay so for that so let's first calculate for this one okay 3 run 3.5 core 300 square mm. so so here this is the cable catalog for 3.5 core cable with dimension and weight okay so here we are going to use armored cable okay so uh, first we are going to calculate the dimension of 3 run 3.5 core of 300 square mm cable okay so here we are going to use armored cable okay single layer flat stripped 
armor okay so from here first we'll look into the cable size so we are going to use 300 square mm so first let's see what is the diameter of this cable okay so here approximate approximate overall diameter of cable is 56 mm okay so now for three run 3.5 core of 300 square mm cable so overall diameter of this three run is uh, 3 into 56 so which is one run dia okay dia of the cable 300 square mm so 3 into 56 become 168 mm so now here overall diameter for three run and the 3 run 3.5 core of this 300 square mm cable is 168 mm okay now come to 2 run 3.5 core 120 square mm so let's calculate the overall diameter for this okay so for this again let's go to cable catalog okay so here we look into 120 so this is the 120 square mm cable okay now for this let's look into the diameter of this cable so here diameter of this cable is 38 mm okay now 38 mm okay so now let's calculate the diameter for two run so what we have to do simply multiply with two with the diameter of this cable so 2 into 38 become 76 mm okay similarly for one run 3.5 core of 70 square mm cable so for this let's move to the again again to this cable catalog okay so here we are going to use 70 square mm okay so for 70 square mm what is the diameter it's a 32 okay so 470 square mm diameter is 30 2 mm so overall diameter for one run is equal to 32 mm now we have calculated the diameter for all the cables which we are going to lay down the cable tray okay so for this now we are going to calculate the cable tray size so total all so now total overall diameter of the cable so now sum the all diameter okay which we have calculated in previous step so 168 plus 76 plus 32 now it become 276 mm okay now add 40% extra for future purpose okay so this is the safety factor so this is the safety factor okay now after adding 40% of this 276 so 276 76 plus 40% of 276 now finally 276 if you calculate this one it become 110.4 overall it become 386.4 mm so this is the width of the cable tray okay now we will go to the cable tray sizing tab okay so what is the calculated value 386.6 okay 386.6 now we have to look into this table which is near to this one okay we always go for higher value than this calculated value so which one is fit for here 400 400 mm so we go for 400 mm okay so width of the cable tray is 400 mm okay now come to its depth level so always we select the depth level according to higher cable size okay higher cable size diameter so what was the higher cable size so 300 square mm so what is the die of this it's a 56 mm so we go for 56 mm okay depth or we can say height okay so depth is 56 mm so which would be fit over here 56 mm so we go for 100 we can say 100 okay now finally we have calculated the cable tray size for above cables okay so here are the sizes of the cable tray okay so 400 mm so 400 mm is the width so 400 mm is the width of the cable tray so this is the 400 mm so this is the 400 mm width of the cable okay and height or we can say depth 100 mm okay so how many cables do you have six three run 300 square mm okay 
and two run 120 square mm and one run 70 square mm so what we have to keep in our mind we always have to put some space between two cables so what would be the value it should be 25 percent of its dia okay dia of the cable so this gap should be maintained during the installation okay so in this way we can find the cable trace size okay so hope you guys understand about cable trace sizing so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos thank you very much see you again in next video